Hello everyone, my name is Matt. In this video, I'll tell you about 5 Japanese authors that will surprise you. These authors are not well known outside the country. However, they are very important in Japanese literature and history. One of them is PewDiePie's favorite author, that he even made a video about him. Okay, let's dive in. Our first author is Yukio Mishima, who was born in 1925 and died in 1970. He was a brilliant writer who wrote about 100 books and 50 plays. He was also an actor, model, a bodybuilder, even a soldier. His major works include The Golden Pavilion, which tells the story of a monk who burned down the most beautiful temple in Kyoto because he was in love and jealous he didn't want to share it with anybody else. Mishima's other works include Confessions of a Mask, about coming to terms with homosexuality, Sea of Fertility, about life and reincarnation, Sun and Steel, about his bodybuilding experience. But aside from his fiction, he is known for something completely different and quite shocking. He was a member of a right-wing group and wanted to restore the power of Japanese emperor and was against the westernization of Japan. He was a samurai in the wrong era, so to speak. He and four other friends actually attempted a coup d'etat against the Japanese government in 1970, but failed and then committed suicide on the spot by slitting his stomach in a seppuku style. The coup d'etat was bizarre as he had prepared the suicide kit as well as poem which he recited before committing suicide. And now the king of YouTube, Mr. PewDiePie, calls him his favorite author. He was an amazing writer, but somehow his image was tarnished due to his political views. Our second author is Ryunosuke Akudagawa, born in 1892 and committed suicide in 1927 when he was only 35. Despite dying very young, he is one of the biggest names in Japanese literature and considered the father of Japanese short stories. His short story, In a Bamboo Grove, is considered the first story that questions the notion of objective truth. Three suspects claim they carried the murder in a bamboo grove, but only one could have done it. This story inspired Akira Kurosawa, the Japanese film director, to make Rashomon that combined two of Akutagawa's stories into a masterpiece of Japanese cinema. Akutagawa wrote about 150 short stories. Despite his literary success, Akutagawa wasn't happy and called himself a failure and suffered from anxiety and hallucination. He attempted suicide once before but failed. On the second attempt, he succeeded. Akutagawa Prize is one of the most prestigious prizes in Japanese literature. However, you only get $10,000 in cash and a watch. Our third author is Shikebu Murasaki, born in 978 or thereabout and died 1030. However, one cannot be certain about these dates. She wrote the tale of Genji in 1024 or thereabout, about a playboy prince who courts many women, arguably making her not only the first female novelist, but also the first novelist ever in human history. This was 600 years before Don Quixote. What makes it even more incredible is that women weren't allowed to learn Chinese writing at the time, so she managed to learn writing and write this amazing novel. What an achievement. Not much is known about her, but it seems she worked at the imperial court in Kyoto at the time. This tale was written to entertain the court, but with the tale of Genji, she has cemented her place at the very highest position in Japanese literature. Now, when you think of Japanese literature, this tale is the first on the list. Although it's beautifully written with lots of poetry, the language is old, so for modern readers it might be a challenge unless you read it in translation. So Lady Murasaki, as she is known, is one of the most important Japanese authors you should know. Our next choice is considered the father of Japanese literature and definitely the most famous writer inside Japan. Natsume Soseki was born in 1867 and died in 1916. He was a pioneer in modern Japanese literature. He spent two years in London, which he hated. Something doesn't change, I guess. The weather. In Japan, he's probably the most famous and respected writer that he is even on 1,000 yen bill. His major works are I Am A Cat, a feline narrating the entire story, Kokoro about a young man and his teacher, and Bochen about a young man struggling with the changes that are happening in Japan. Sosuke grew up when Japan started modernizing, so he saw a huge shift from a traditional feudal society to an imperial power. So the subject of his stories are mostly about the change that took place in Japan. He's also Haruki Murakami's favorite Japanese author. 
In 2016, Osaka University created a robot, Natsume Sosake, voiced by his grandson that gave lectures and recited some of his works. But it was only 130 cm tall. I don't think Sosake was that short in real life. He's also the only Japanese author who has a museum in the UK dedicated to his work. It was opened in 1982 in London, but due to high costs in London, it was moved to Surrey in the south in 2019. So, Sosuke is the most famous Japanese author in Japan. Our fifth choice is an interesting one. Edugawa Rampo was born in 1894 and died in 1965. He is considered the father of Japanese mystery and detective stories and was the grandson of an actual samurai. See if you can decode his name to reveal an American author with the same name, Edugawa Rampo, someone famous for writing horror filled short stories. Any luck? Pause and write your comment. Well, he admired Edgar Allan Poe so much that he made it his own pen name. Eduga is Edgar Wa Ram. Alan Poe Poe. His real name was Hirai Taro. His stories are filled with the grotesque, horror, and outright bizarre. Sometimes that bizarre shows up in Murakami's work, so his influence cannot be denied. His famous works are Black Lizard, about a beautiful criminal, The Human Chair, it's in the name, and The Caterpillar, which was banned by the Japanese government during the war as it depicted a war veteran wounded badly that he looked like a caterpillar. Edugawa Rampo Prize is named after him and given to Japanese mystery writers every year to the tune of $100,000 and the publication of their book. If you want to claim that prize, move to Japan and write a mystery book in Japanese. I would like to hear if there's any takers. Now to our bonus Japanese ish author. Kazuo Ishiguro, technically not Japanese, but he was born in Japan. When he was six, he moved to the UK and he only writes in English. His first two novels were set in Japan A Pale View of Hills, about the Japanese woman who leaves her husband for an Englishman, and The Artist of the Floating World, about a Japanese artist who helped the Japanese propaganda during the Second World War. Both deal with guilt of the war period. After he became well known by those novels, he distanced himself from Japan as he was irritated by the British media boxing him as a Japanese author. So he wrote The Remains of the Day about an English butler during Second World War in a British aristocrat's house to really show that he was British. His other famous work is Never Let Me Go about a bunch of kids who end up as organ donors in this dystopian world. Since he won the Nobel Prize in 2018, he's been claimed by the Japanese media as one of their own. There was a lot of coverage, and his works were published again in Japan, and he was invited to Japan like a national hero. I've read all his books. They read like Japanese novels to me. In fact, his characters are more stereotypically Japanese, such as accepting their fates, not questioning things. The heroism is not about changing the world, but putting up with the world, no matter how terrible. All sounds very Confucian to me. Confucianism is extremely influential in Japanese culture. Okay, which one of these authors you have read and which one you find most interesting? Please write in the comment section. If you like this video, please thumbs up, share, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so to see more videos like this. Thank you.